Hello guys and girls, how are you doing today? Well, most likely you click that thumbnail because you're wondering how to fix certain problem with Windows 10 and that would be namely a black screen after trying to log in. Well, believe it or not, this is a very common situation with Windows 10 and today we're going to find out how to fix that. Let's go! Okay, welcome to the channel, it's your guy Mago here from the recovery team and I'm back with more practical data solutions and don't worry, in order to fix what is happening with your computer right now, uh, you don't have to go to a repair center. There's just going to be a few magic tricks which I'm going to show you. Most likely they're going to cure whatever is happening with your computer. And since we very often make such kind of tutorials here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and for any questions or follow-up comments you might have in regard to the video, the section is down there below. Good! Just like with every other problem, before solving it we need to understand and we need to find the root cause. And since we have a few different possible scenarios here, we're going to talk about them and then figure out how to fix them uh, one by one. So the first most common thing that could happen to your computer outdated drivers or uh, some problem with the driver. So an outdated driver is one of the most common scenarios that could cause system instability or such kind of black screen. Second possibility could be loose connection between the computer and your monitor. So that would be on a hardware level first thing to check for <laughs> loose connections. Startup. Startup of Windows could be problematic so that's a third thing that we might have to check. Fourth possibility, the display adapters. Sometimes they go into factory default settings due to various reasons. So you install something new and then it brings your display adapter into factory state. So this could be another cause of the issue. And last but not least, let's not forget the possibility of a virus or malware, which could also contribute to system instability. Of course, these are just a few from the many reasons which could lead to black screen, but I think these are the major ones. So let's begin with the first possible solution and it would be really simple, I promise, especially if you have a laptop, most likely you're doing it on a regular basis anyways. So they will be trying to wake up the monitor with a key combination. Often Windows 10 is losing the connection with the monitor and the displays and is showing a black screen instead. In this case, we can simply use the right key combination to wake the display up. If we encounter the situation, we press the following combination, the Windows key, the control, the shift and B. This is automatically going to restart the video driver, wake the screen up. Apart from this, we can also use another combination, the Windows button and P or the control alt delete key combinations to wake up the screen and fix the black screen instantaneously. Second workarounds, especially if we have recently been upgrading some hardware or drivers, could be a problematic driver update. So the chances are that this would be the root cause. It happens due to a corrupt driver update or possibly an incompatibility. So we press the Windows key together with X and that's going to open the device manager. We locate and expand the display adapter menu and double tap the display driver. In the next dialog box we switch to the driver tab and click the roll back driver button. And this is going to roll back the older driver, which supposedly is going to work fine. Option three, in case the previous solution didn't work, we stay in the device manager, but this time we're going to entirely uninstall the driver. So select the display adapter, click uninstall driver and wait for the uninstallation process to complete. Once the drivers are successfully uninstalled, we right click and we select update driver and we let the computer automatically find the appropriate update driver as per our configuration. After that we double check if everything is okay, make sure to reboot first just in case and hopefully the display is going to be working fine. Okay, we go further with the next solution which is rather desperate but still worth trying in case you've been doing a lot of things on your computer and you're not quite certain which could be the reason, and none of the previous solutions worked. System Restore. Let me show you how to do it. We can simply go to Cortana and type System Restore Point, or we open the System Properties, and then we go to the System Protection tab and select System Restore. Then we're going to see a list with possible restore points, and we roll back to the previous configuration. Going to the next one, and we mentioned that the startup could be problematic, so it could be that Windows Explorer is malfunctioning for some reason. 
Very easy to restart it. We press Control Shift Escape keys in order to open the Task Manager. We find where Windows Explorer is. We click on that and down on the right corner, we press this Restart button. If these software magic tricks didn't help, we go on with a couple of more hardware related options. The first one, actually, probably you could start with this scenario. Check for loose connections, whether the cable is properly connected, whether it's bent somewhere, whether you see some physical damage, because this could be the reason why you're seeing a black screen. If none of these so far are working, you know, we can try with the absolute minimum configuration, which means you disconnect all the peripherals and, and start with a really basic vanilla configuration. No, no additional monitors, no additional external adapters, no super fancy headphones, no super fancy mice and keyboards. Just try with the very basics and see if that's going to bring any difference. So that was the last idea I had and I just shared it with you. And I truly hope that one of those seven workarounds have helped you to recover your system. And I truly hope that you found today's video enjoyable and helped you to understand better what could cause a black screen and how to fix it. And if that's the case, please give us a like. And if you have any follow-up questions, or even better, if you have a great idea how to fix the Windows 10 black screen, please do share in the comment section below. For more practical data solutions, make sure to be subscribed to the channel. I'm Michael, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye!